We want to introduce you to some really smart kids. The Madeira Unified Mad Town Robotics team just went undefeated 20 to zip at the world first robotics competition last weekend in Houston. The event brought in more than 600 teams from all around the world to compete against one another. Brian is with them now to chat about their experience and to check out their world winning robot. Brian. Catherine, can you believe that 20 zip in the world? I got to show you the room real quick. Have and take a look. We got uh, quite a few of them. There's 25 students that are on this team uh, and we've got a couple folks with us here. We have one student that is with us as well as their mentor. Go ahead if you would please introduce yourself. My name is Aureli Venegas. Aureli, nice to meet you. And sir? My name is RC. Okay, nice to meet you. All right, and here is the robot. Uh, I must start with what does it mean to you to be first in the state first in the country and now right now first in the world. It's pretty great knowing that all of our hard work paid off in the end, all of our teamwork and everything that we went through, all of those, all of those nights actually paid off and made sure that, that we got the number one spot. I wasn't expecting this, this is my first time seeing the robot demo, uh, to be so fast, uh, a little louder than I anticipated. Uh, tell us what we're seeing and what it's actually doing. So right now you're seeing it uh, pick up cones automatically on the fly and it's scoring in like grid known locations. So right now this is semi-automatic. The students back there are driving it and controlling it. So right now it's vision sensing the cone. It's knowing automatically where to score. And that's what it's doing now. Right now it can do cubes and cones. It can do it at the same time. You know, it's pretty impressive. Impressive indeed, and I'm sure that that's why you guys are world champs at this moment. Uh, I must point out that your team made up of 25 students had 52 wins and only one loss this year, uh, and that's since the first of the year. Yeah. Uh, that's really incredible, and it takes a team effort. I know a lot of you are here today, uh, but there are 25 of you. Talk to me about kind of the team because it is a team sport, yes? Yes, exactly. It's a team sport, and it's a lot of making sure we're all working together and that we have the time present, knowing that we have to do the prototyping, the CAD, the actual fabrication of it, the programming, like all of that within the six weeks, ensuring that we're competition ready at the end and ensuring that we have the best possible robot. You know, when I was in high school, I was very, very far removed from the robotics team because that was the smartest of my friends were on the robotics team. Uh, it takes so much work. Talk to me about the work and the dedication. Of course, you know, a lot of time goes in after school, right? Most of it. Uh, yeah, most of it, if not all of it's after school. Uh, there's 25 students, 10 mentors, and we work pretty much every day. You know, 24-7 it feels like for about three, four months straight. And, you know, the students winning the World Championship is like a phenomenal feat because there's teams from the U.S., Canada, Israel, the European nations, um, you know, Mexico. So it's pretty impressive for the students to do as well as they did this year. I've got to know what's next. Where does a world champion go from here? As always, you know, next year win back to back and then three feet and, you know, so on. So the goal is always to win. Yeah. And how are you feeling about your big win? I'm feeling pretty excited still, pretty stoked. Yeah. And just still feels unreal, but it's a pretty good accomplishment. This is such a big deal. Uh, I can't tell you how proud we are of you all uh, from the Madeira Unified School District. Catherine, so impressive, right? I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. 